right, let's give this one a try. Uh, average speed is the name of the problem. And it says, suppose in making a round trip, you travel at a uniform speed of 30 miles per hour from A to B, and return from B to A at a uniform rate of 60 miles per hour. What would be your average speed for the round trip? And then it says, careful. Now, the reason it says careful is that uh, this word average, because one is tempted to use the word average to just take a simple average of the two speeds. And the, you, know, you could say, well, we're averaging 30 miles per hour, we're averaging 60 miles per hour over the same distance, and uh, therefore, uh, well, uh, 30 plus 60 is 90, divided by 2 is 45. And that would be wrong. That would be the wrong answer. You can't just take a simple average because uh, average speed means something different than a simple average. So think about that. If you're doing this online, kind of rethink what you did. And, uh, but I'm going to set this problem up this way. Um, I'm going to say given. Well, I'm going to go from A to B. Uh, going 30 miles per hour. Okay, and then I'm going to go from B back to A. And we're going to average 60 miles per hour. And we want to find the average. I want to find the average uh, speed for the entire problem. Now we use V average. I could put a little uh, absolute value sign like that to mean, uh, you know, average. But because uh, if, if, if you were calculating the average velocity of this, it would be zero. Right, because you, you go here and you come back here, your, your displacement is uh, zero, so your average velocity would be zero. But since we want the average speed, average speed is, um, and I'll just continue to use the letter V, but uh, is the total distance traveled divided by the total time. And so I'm going to use this. This is my operational definition for average velocity. So I got to I got to use this. So what is the distance traveled? And um, so I'm going to use uh, AB as a length. And so AB BA so really, you know that the average distance traveled it would be two times whatever AB is. Does that make sense? Right? It's AB plus BA. So there's two of them. You just two AB. But this average time, or I mean the total time it took. Well, I'm going to call this T1 and this T2. So really, the the total time traveled is the time it takes to go from A to B plus the time it takes to go from B to A. And so this is an example of how you use the operational definition to tell yourself what to do. Well, this tells me uh, I got to find T1 and T2. Now notice that AB right now is a variable. It's not a number. So just leave it there. You could, you could as a strategy make up a number. I mean, you could say that this is a to B is 30 miles, uh, and then you could do it with numbers, and that'll work. That might be even a little faster, more efficient than this. But I'm going to leave it as a variable because I want you to see how it'll cancel out. So what is T1? Well, we know that 30 miles per hour is equal to the distance traveled from here to here over T1. So T1 is equal to AB over 30 miles per hour. Does that make sense? OK. And then from here to here is 60 miles per hour. 
and that distance is BA, but it doesn't matter. We can call it AB just to keep, keep, keep this same, over T2. That's the time it takes to go from here to here. We're defining that to be T2. So T2 is equal to AB over 60 miles per hour. So now I've got expressions that I can substitute back in here. So the average speed is 2AB divided by T1, which is AB over 30 miles per hour, plus AB over 60 miles per hour. Well, I can combine these, and um, if I multiply this times 2 and this times 2, so this I get 2AB over 2AB plus AB all over 60 miles per hour. And by now you can probably do the algebra in fewer steps. I'm just going to show them all. This is 2AB on the top divided by 3AB divided by 60 miles per hour. So the AB is going to cancel. And this will happen in a problem like this. If you had picked a distance from here to here, here to here, it, that distance would have just canceled out. It doesn't matter what distance you pick from A to B, you're going to get the same answer. So this is going to be 2 thirds. And then you reciprocate and multiply. So it's times 60 miles per hour. And so the average speed well two-thirds of 60 is 40. So the answer is 40 miles per hour instead of 45. So let's take a look at the whole thing here. So the key to this is, is not to be fooled by that word average. Uh, there's an operational definition for a simple average where you add up the things and divide by the number of things you added. Um, and then for average speed, there's a different um, operational definition, distance over time. If you use the correct operational definition, that'll get you off to a good start. And also, um, in physics, you kind of allow the problem to tell you what to do next. Like if you go, oh, wait a minute, I don't know what AB is. I don't know what that distance is. Uh, a lot of times you can panic and just stop and say, oh, I don't have enough information or whatever. But just keep going with it. Just keep that variable in the expression. And then eventually it'll cancel out sometimes. sometimes. Any questions? That is all.